Hello friends, welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to look into new offset DAX function. Before I start, I just want to make sure that this function is not officially announced. There's no documentation available. This has been shown in various Microsoft events and that this function is coming again. The functionality of this function, what I'm going to talk about, is based on as of today. Uh, again, when these functions come out officially, there might be some changes, so keep an eye on that. Uh, but let's talk about what is uh, good about this function, what is bad, and what is really ugly, uh, which I will uh, walk through in this particular uh, video in a small demo. Let's get to Power BI and take a look. So here I have a very simple uh, Power BI data model where I have a sales by color. Again, color is in a product table and uh, it's just showing the sales by uh, color. Now, one use case of offset function would be, uh, you know, uh, previously if you have to do this, you have to have some ID column which is incremental. Uh, you can go back to the previous row or the uh, next row. So you need to have some sort of a number ID column to make that happen. But with offset, now it is easy to uh, achieve that when you have a text columns showing uh, on your visuals, like in this case, color. But let's first simply write a offset functions. Too many blog posts already available on this. I'm not gonna go into detail about the offset function, but I'm gonna talk about a little bit of the pitfalls of this particular function. So let's let's write a, a quick measure. Let's call this uh, measure uh, previous row sales. Uh, again, we have to very specific color because depending on what we write in this DAX function is based, it's gonna work only for that particular column or uh, what we're seeing on the row. So let's call it uh, previous row sales color. Um, the function is pretty straightforward. So we start with calculate our sales measure, which is just a sum of sales and then the function again no intelligence is available for this function at this point in time offset the first thing is negative or positive value so negative one means go to the previous row uh, immediate previous if negative two uh, then the uh, two rows uh, from the current row and if it's plus two it's uh, two rows forward um, so this is let's say we want to only in the previous row and then the other one is um, we need a table on which we want to calculate this. So all selected, why we need all selected here? Because we want to select a table of all the colors in our table. Um, so that is product color. And now you can just use this here and it would work. And uh, let's bring this uh, measure in, in the visualization here. So now if we look at the result, the blue color is giving the previous row sales um, is uh, 9 million. So that's perfectly fine. That's a previous row. And uh, when it comes to gray, it is giving us the blue. And then if it's come to multi, um, it's giving us the gray color. Now, what is bad about this? So if we look at that, the gray, in my opinion, the gray does not have any sales. And in this particular case, I just don't want to see uh, gray as the value uh, because uh, uh, there is if we remove this particular measure from this visualization uh, uh, the gray color is not there but when I'm adding this the gray, gray color shows up and the one fix for that would be we can have a um, you know put the if condition or something like that to suppress uh, hide the color which uh, which doesn't have the sales so one way could be um, divide sales with sales. The gray color does not have any sales, so it's gonna be blank, divide by blank, it's gonna return blank. And when we multiply this, our formula with blank value, it's gonna return the blank. And then once, uh, as we all know, when the visual return a blank value, um, then we will, uh, the row does disappears. So gray currently has a sales which is a blank, but previous row color sales color is uh, giving us the previous row sales. Now we are with this divide sales uh, 
um, by sales, we are basically returning the value blank because there is no sales for the gray color. So if I now use this, here you go. So now the gray disappeared. The reason why the gray disappeared now is it doesn't have any sales. And then also in the previous row sales color, we suppressed it. Okay, return the blank if you don't have a sale. And that's where the gray uh, doesn't show up. So this looks better. Uh, so we blue has a 9 million. Um, so uh, previous row black is giving us a 9 million when it comes to the multi. Uh, now this is giving one, the sales for multi is 109, but it is giving us previous row sales color blank. Now that's the ugly part. Why this is black? Behind the scene, uh, because we said all selected products color, it is giving us the list of all the products, all the colors. And the gray is part of that list as well. And because gray is previous row than multi, uh, if we did not suppress, we saw that. And uh, that's why we are getting blank. So what with this Meyer we, we did is, we suppress the color, uh, which does not have the sales, but the next row is still counting the gray, the previous row in the calculation for the previous row and giving us the blank. So now the question comes is, like uh, again, it comes to the business question, should we suppress the row, uh, the gray color row, or our multi-color should not show us uh, the gray as a, a, take the blank value from the gray, but it should go back to the blue one, because if we look at this right now in Metrics Visual, the previous row for multi is blue, and the sales for that is 2.3 million. Should we expect 2.3 million here? or what should be the uh, used again this is again depends on what you guys want to achieve again if we have a uh, another case here the white um, does not have the previous row sales because the previous row i think for the white if we suppress this must be a color which does not have a sale so if we look here silver and black does not have a sale and that's why the white is showing a blank as well again the question comes down to is if the previous row does not have a sales uh, then what should we see the blank here or we should actually whatever is shown in the visual in this particular case for the white we should see the silver sales here as a previous row sales that, that's what I wanted to do for example I, I don't want to see in this case the blank I wanted to see what is physically shown in the in the silver um, color and that should be here uh, I couldn't find out a way to solve for it. Uh, I tried a few things, but didn't work out. For example, uh, I did this. Um, I'm gonna write a quick measure here. So let's create a product color table and filter out which doesn't have the sales. So we can simply uh, do this with the color with sales. So maybe summarize uh, our product table on color and add a measure sales and then we can if we use this summarize here and let's just do this uh, uh, previous row sales in a variable as well it's just and then let's see if i return the count rows of this summarize here uh color with sales and it will give me um, the count of all the product sales like 10 as you can see at the bottom so if I just put it on a card here uh, just maybe it will be easier to see so it's giving us 10 rows it means these are all um, um, uh, 10 colors here right now and we can filter this on the which doesn't have a sales uh, as you uh, what we can do is simply we can apply a, a filter here on this table where our sales is not equal to blank. So I expect uh, the gray and the silver white should disappear, then the count should be eight uh, because we filtered on. So now we have eight rows and as you can see, those gray and white are disappeared from this. So now we know um, this particular uh, color with sales table does have only the it, it is a table with the, the colors which have sales 
and uh, if you really want to see the result you can also use the concatenate x what colors are included in this we can have a concatenate x and our color with sales table and the column is color and um, separate by comma and order it by color so that it shows in the same order so let's see um, what the result look like so you will see here uh, it is giving us all the colors so now we have black blue multi uh, and all that stuff but we don't have the gray and the silver and white and so we know this particular table is returning a list of colors uh, which does not have the sales and if I use this particular table in my instead of all selected products color I use the the virtual table which I created and uh, we know that this table does not exist gray uh, does not contain the rows gray and uh, uh, the silver white color uh, because they don't have the sales so we expect our result to work and let's uh, now return the previous row sales as our final result yeah, here you go and then we get an error immediately uh, something wrong with one or more field preview row sales color function order by cannot be used with columns added by add columns or summarize functions so we, we get some sort of an error here um, if I let's say say I add the order by um, now I, this is another parameter where you can see okay how you want to order by so I say color and then you can give an ascending or descending um, in this case I want ascending so that's an optional parameter as well uh, so would it work uh, again now the error has changed previously when there, there was no order by the error was different but now when I added the order by uh, parameter in the offset function it says looking at the error looks like you cannot use the virtual tables in the offset functions and it has to be uh, in your physical tables what is in the memory um, again I'm, I'm not sure uh, what the error means and uh, it, it, that's how I'm interpreting it again as I said this function is very very new and it's not officially announced and not documented yet uh, maybe once this function is launched there is a lot more options or there is a um, fix or there is some other support around this uh, but the, the, the point which I wanted to make here is if the reporting requirement is to get the previous row sales only what are visible in the visual or has some sales then uh, this function will not work in that case which we just saw uh, again this function is new um, uh, be careful when you're using this function in the production reports but uh, if you start using this keep in mind these two things uh, that uh, if the previous row doesn't have the sales it will still show up and calculate and I couldn't find a way to resolve that um, or maybe somebody else or other DAX expert uh, know what the fix would be um, but that's that's my finding about this new function let me know what you guys think about this video uh, do subscribe my channel. Until next video, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.